everyone, welcome to the Krista Rose Love channel. Today I want to talk about longer hair traps. Pretty much the traps that we wind up in when our hair gets longer and we do certain things that self-sabotage the longer length. So there are four that came to my mind immediately that I want to share with you. So number one, not having enough patience. You want to make sure that you're patient with your hair. I know that with my hair I have to be uh, comfortable when it comes down to styling with keeping my arms up for a certain amount of time when I'm blow drying my hair, when I'm styling it, when I'm moisturizing my hair. I give my arms some time to rest but I acknowledge the fact that as my hair gets longer and it's definitely you know thick hair as well so I just have to be patient if I have to take some time to do something else you know make some tea to take a break from the styling or something I'll do that but you just have to be really patient with your hair because if you don't have enough patience and you're rushing through your regimen and you know for example taking a comb and running it through really fast you don't want to look at your comb and see what's in it because you might not be happy with the broken hairs and stuff. You want to be as patient as possible with your hair. The second trap that a lot of us run into is not being patient enough with tangles. So tangles are another thing altogether when your hair gets longer. You want to make sure that you engage the proper protocol with dealing with tangles. So for example, when my hair is wet, I am not going to take a comb and just be like, you know, going straight through my hair. I'm going to start with my fingers first. I'm going to finger comb my hair gently from the ends of my hair, even, you know, parting my hair all the way up to my scalp. And, you know, I do this so naturally now, so it's not so slow and mechanical like the way I'm kind of showing it now, but um, I just gently feel for tangles. And then once I feel comfortable that I got enough of the tangles out with my fingers, then I'll take a wide tooth comb and work my way through my hair, you know, from the ends all the way up to the scalp, but just in general, just working it out and just making sure that uh, I check the comb to make sure I don't see broken hairs in there and so forth. You just want to be as gentle as possible with your hair and when your hair gets longer there's more opportunity for tangles because there's more hair to deal with, right? So just be gentle with your hair when it comes down to tangles and you can avoid that trap altogether. The third trap is too much heat processing with our longer hair. So I can say from personal experience when my hair got longer I was like cool I can try out different styles my hair is longer now so I can do this heat style or that heat style and just have fun flat ironing and, and trying out different styles. Well the problem is if you get too creative and too fancy with heat styling with your longer hair you'll actually put your hair at a disservice. So you want to make sure that you you know stay away from too much heat styling. So continue to do your protective styling and so forth. Try to stay away from heat. I mean still experiment and try out different styles because hey you have the longer hair you want to flaunt it in different ways. But don't go overboard because you could be putting your hair in a position of being really damaged in the long run and then you'll have to cut off that length and start from scratch. So you're better off playing it safe and making making sure that you mix up your heat styling with some non-heat styles as well. My last trap, the fourth trap, is not continuing with the regimen that got you the longer hair in the first place. So a lot of us can get excited because, okay, the hair is longer, we can do different things now, we can try out different products and get excited and fancy with it. You don't want to take that risk, especially if you're trying to get your hair even longer than it is now. You want to maintain that regimen that got you to where you are right now. So keep up with those shampoos and conditioners that you're using. Keep up with your your um, your protective styling, your satin scarves, your satin pillowcases, your moisturizing, your consistent moisturizing. It's so easy to get complacent when our hair gets to a certain length and we love the way it looks. But if you're really trying to keep up that healthy mane and grow it even longer, just keep up with your regimen. Your Regimen, stay consistent with it, enjoy it, love your hair, and you won't fall into the trap of, you know, losing all that length altogether because you got too excited, too creative with your with your hair and where it is right now. So just stick with the routine that got you to where you are right now and your hair will thank you for it. So those are my four traps. If you have any other traps that you want other people to know about, please feel free to list them below. And I have more videos on the way, so stay tuned.